Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Hello, everyone, fellow members and guests. You might be wondering, who is this guy? Well, I ask myself that question every day. Who am I? What am I doing? What's my purpose? My name is Reed Brian Kimball, and I am many things. Primarily, I am a video game design consultant, an entrepreneur, and a documentary filmmaker. I was born in Harvard, Massachusetts, not to be confused with Harvard, who was another member of Toastmasters, but not here today, although the name is spelled the same way, just a different pronunciation. At four months old, my appendix burst, and that got yanked. At one year old, I got spinal, spinal meningitis, which affected my hearing, and I have severe, moderate to severe hearing. I wear these hearing aids right here, behind the ears, as they are called. You would think at this point all my health troubles would be over with by now, but no. At 17 years old, I was diagnosed after several months of feeling ill with Crohn's disease. And as a fair warning, uh, I will be graphic. I think it's important to know what Crohn's disease is like for people. Incidences of it are rising around the world. With Crohn's disease, it is an inflammatory bowel condition. And what can happen commonly, there's a wide range of symptoms, but commonly people experience excruciating gut pain in their abdominal areas, diarrhea, and that's what I primarily experienced as a teenager. And as one example of how it affected me, in math class, I felt like I needed to use the bathroom right away, right then and there. I raised my hand, the teacher, the math teacher, took a few seconds to finish what he was saying. And he finally called on me. I said, I need to use the bathroom. He said, we have five minutes left in class, can you wait? I said, um, no, I gotta go right now. And what had actually happened is that while I was waiting for those few seconds for him to call on me, I had already gone to the bathroom. With Crohn's disease, as you can imagine, it can be devastating. It can affect your social life. It can affect your ability to work, go to school. But I didn't let it ruin my life. I graduated high school. I graduated college. And for eight years, I've been working in the video game industry. In 2004, I started a new diet, although I like to call it a health style. There's the term lifestyle, but health style. For me, it just allowed me to live healthier, and it dramatically changed my life for the better. It's called a specific carbohydrate diet. And what was amazing about this specific carbohydrate diet is that within 24 hours of starting this, all of my symptoms of Crohn's disease went away, completely eliminated. This started a long process, a long healing journey that is still in progress today. Currently, I'm working on a documentary film called Wanted, Crohn's End. And it's about people with several different kinds of digestive conditions, such as irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's disease. And these people all use alternative therapies instead of conventional therapies because they believe and they've seen that the alternative therapies can heal the root cause rather than treat the symptoms, which the drugs and medications and surgeries are known to do. In the film, similar to Super Size Me, if any of you have seen that, where the director, Morgan Spurlock, focuses on himself and showing how his body reacts to the food, the McDonald's diet that he eats. I'm doing a similar conceptual approach with this film, where you'll see me try different alternative therapies and trying food that in years past I couldn't eat without having terrible pain and symptoms and just seeing the reactions. I've seen people do amazing, miraculous things when they put their heart and soul into it. I don't believe that Crohn's disease is incurable. I believe if you accept that something is incurable, you're accepting defeat already. 
If gastroenterologists can be wrong, and they are, that diet and lifestyle changes can't play a role in treating Crohn's disease, then they can be wrong that it's incurable. So going back to the original question, who am I? What's my purpose? My purpose is to help those with digestive conditions to realize that they can heal and overcome them and lead awesome lives. It is my goal with Toastmasters that I can gain the confidence and skills needed to share my story with the rest of the world. Madam Toastmaster, thank you for the opportunity to share my story here with everyone.